had a massive windstorm last night rain wind and my solar panel like blew flown off the roof slammed onto the ground look at this this is all dented you can't see my solar panel now but it was all smashed into pieces it was all smashed into pieces like the orange panel pieces a second i got one of my garbage these are like along the top of the solar panel where the handle folds. Bro, smashed right off. But all the hardware still works. The mounting got ripped off. But when I looked at the wiring on the solar panel or to the solar panel, all the connection wiring, it all looked like it was all intact still. And just all the hardware bolting it to the panel. Um was disconnected first, which is how it's designed. That stuff's supposed to hold the connection first, the mounting connections, and then the electrical connections fell last. And that's exactly what it did when it blew off the roof. So it's still good, but it definitely be my best interest to tape up the, tape up the connective pieces and replace the mounting that was damaged because there's basically no mounting connection it's it's the only thing holding the wiring to the solar panel is the wiring itself if it happened again it probably wouldn't work again unless i replace the damaged mounting with some tape or some glue or something a little cinco de mayo grab bag at work today so yeah Maraca, some other, some other goodies that I can't get out of my bag. Hi ha! Open sesame! Oh, that was not intelligent. I just lost like two or three things. bread and the chili I'm talking about three bucks left the chili on my windshield on a hot day 90 degrees like high 80s zero pardon me basically zero prep time highly sustainable didn't waste any energy use energy energy to cook it didn't use any energy to clean or wash any dishes other than uh to wash a spork to get the bottom that I can't get with the 
bread and I had chips, so I'm gonna use chips. But other than that, if I didn't have chips, it would be the bread and then a spork knife for the rest. And then just spraying it down, paper towel, wipe it down, rinse it off with some water, spray it down with some water. Bada bing, bada boom. Hot, highly sustainable, very cheap. And highly nutritious. Zero prep time, highly efficient as well. In terms of those like four factors, I'm pretty sure that meal is like unbeatable. You might find like some a few things that are cheaper, but in terms of those four things, uh, high quality chili, very nutritious something you can open and leave on your windshield and just pop open and dip some high quality fluffy delicious moist breaded it's good out Unfortunately, my solar panel only temporarily worked. I think it was just using the juice that was in it and then it stopped working. So I have to get a new one and just load it up my cart and about to order that stuff and pick it up in the next week or so. So. Man, I'm, I'm kind of surprised not surprised but i am surprised after all the anxiety all the crap i've been through for the last like five years i still have it i still have the mojo i still have the charm that i had that made people jealous i still got it i got a great idea to write different hotels the best hotels in the area and offer blogging services, promotional services, in return for free night stays, and, you know, getting into detail about what my services would provide and the benefits of those services in terms of, you know, making sure I document, like, five key features in every hotel or certain aspects of every hotel. I got to this one going. I'm planning right now. I'm packing, going to the library. Just packed my mini lunch, some bread and cakes, and uh, pack some drinks for it. And then I'm gonna go to the library, charge. I'm gonna go to the library. I'm gonna charge my power banks, and I'm gonna plan out. What I'm gonna say, what my plan is gonna be, but I think I have a great opportunity to combine my construction management in the commercial real estate industry where you know I went in a lot of buildings that were like hotels, residential properties, uh, like expensive residential slash commercial properties. And then on top of that, my like vlogging experience and travel experience and what, you know, the weight of my channel, the amount of subscribers I have and just put everything together, lay it all out, brainstorm a little bit, see what I come up with and see if I can get some emails out and maybe my off days make the most of being able to stay in a hotel and work, you know, while I'm there some good content, some good footage, put it together, possibly even send to them before I would ever upload anything. Um, but just, or just like make sure that, you know, if I don't do certain things and have certain things in my videos, they're good to go. But I would like to check with them most likely uh, before I upload anything. But if they could provide me free night stay and I could provide them promotional marketing in return, it could be great, uh, 
great business opportunity.